Different teas require different water temperature, but which is the right temperature for each type of tea? Let's find out in this video. Hi guys, this is Gabriele from Nanoshan, where we share the pleasure of drinking and discovering genuine farm tea. When you brew tea, water temperature is really key. It's very important which water temperature you choose because the tea may result too weak or just too strong or even bitter. In this video, I want to give you a quick guide to the right water temperature for each type of tea. And after that, for those of you that are really into tea, we will go together to an experiment that you can do at home to find out yourself what's the best. So let's find out first with a very brief overview. So let's start with white tea. White tea is, if I have to say one temperature, I would say go for 90 degrees centigrade. Now, as a matter of fact, white tea is very resilient. You can brew it without problem at 100 degrees and you can also get very good results at 80 or 70. So you will have to find out yourself what's the best for you. But as a matter of fact, no matter if it's 70 or 100, the white tea won't turn bitter. However, take care that especially for tea bags and cheaper tea, some of the white tea out there are actually not white tea. They're just sold as white tea, but they are green tea. And green tea is way more sensitive. For green tea, I would suggest 75 degrees. With 75 degrees, no matter which green tea you have, you more or less have a good result. Now, there are some green teas, in particular Chinese green tea, that can sustain higher temperature. So also 80 degrees or 85 would be fine. Very few exceptions, you can go much higher than that. And then there are other teas, most prominently, I would say most notoriously, is the Japanese green tea, where you use usually slow, lower temperature. Can be 60 degrees, can be 70 degrees, in some cases even 50 degrees. So for Japanese tea, it requires a little bit more research, but all in all, 75 degrees, I think, is a good starting point for all green teas. Yellow tea is a very specific category. There are not so many yellow teas out there. You usually can steep them at a higher temperature than a green tea. I would say 90 degrees is a good reference, but depends. There are some yellow tea that are very, very green, almost green tea, and with those you want to care a bit more. So lower temperature for those. But 90 degrees should work out fine for all of them. Oolong tea. Oolong tea is uh, a wide category. There are so many oolong tea and it's very difficult to give you just one temperature. But again, if I should choose for one, I would go for 95. 95 degrees centigrade because it's very close to 100 and many oolong tea can be brewed at 100. But there are others that works way better at 90 degrees or even at 85. So with 95, you have a good middle ground, let's say, to catch them all. And then we have black tea. Black tea is actually maybe the easiest of the categories. And I would say that with 90 degrees, you are really, you have a good reference for all of them. Yeah. Of course, there might be some very peculiar black tea that can be steeped at higher temperature or they are better at lower. But to my experience, 90 degrees really works very fine. And then you have a uh, shampoo and dark tea where um, it's a bit different. There you usually go for 100 degrees, all of them actually, and you do much shorter steeping time. So now I, tell, I told you a lot of different values, a lot of different temperatures. So how to remember all that? Well, you find them on the screen, you find them in the description below, but also if you are an Anocean customer, behind on the back side of every pouch, there is a table here with the temperature that I told you. But I mean, those values are actually valid for any tea, so you don't have to go for our teas. It's just there is a little reference. And also in addition to the temperature that I told you, you have also some ideas about the leaf quantity 
for specific uh, amount of water. Anyway, if you want to get more details, usually the vendor would provide more detailed information on their website, on the product page specifically of the tea. In our case, we have always two tag tables on every tea page that tells you in detail how to brew that specific tea, water temperature, steeping time, and so on, in Gongfucha style and in a larger teapot. So if you have a specific tea and you want to check that out, go on the product page. But now, what I told you today in that brief guide and what the other vendors or even ourselves tell you on the website doesn't mean that works well for you. So it's always worth it to check it out, right? And sometimes what happens is that you focus on a specific temperature, you keep on doing a certain tea always in the same way, and maybe you should change. Maybe there is another temperature that works better. In my case, with black tea, I tend to go for 90 degrees, no matter what. Sometimes I'm lazy and I go up to 100, but really, those are exceptions. So today, I want to do for the first time in my life, I would say, a really a three-song comparison between three different uh, uh, water temperature with exactly the same black tea. So I have here three guy ones. Let's put them here. Inside the guy one, I have already put three grams of leaves or 3.5 maybe, I don't remember, about three grams here, here, and here. Looks like a magician a little bit. And oh wow, and the smell has come out very quickly. It is this tea, so I'll uh, show you here the leaves. That's uh, uh, the black tea that uh, I have inside. For those that recognize, it uh, is Da Ye Hong Cha. It is a black tea that, uh, depending on when you are watching this video, might not be online or better, might be sold out. But this one is the new one from this year, from 2022. And uh, I'm not sure when we will put it online. Maybe by the time you watch the video, it will be already there. Anyway, this is a, a black tea from uh, Guangzhou province. It grows in a forest. You want to check out the product page to see a picture of that very specific garden that is actually surrounded by other trees because it is in the middle of a forest. And it is made with a large leaf variety. If you don't know what is a larger variety, just forget about it. For those that are a little bit of experience, a little bit of experience, this is a Da Ye Jong. And actually, the garden is made from about 40, 45 years old bushes that grew out of seeds that came from Yunnan. So say that, I will brew my temperature to 80 degrees. We will start from there, because I want to brew this tea at 80, 90 and 100. So it will be a little bit tricky. And uh, uh, I will tell you more about that. I say this is another experiment that if you want, you can do at home yourself. It's, uh, it's tricky for several reasons, because uh, you have three teas at the same time, which is not easy, but not only because of that. Let's show our little logo. And uh, yeah, so we have the tier, the water is actually 90, 80 degrees. And now I have to think because we have to do it with the timer because it will be tricky. And what is the tricky aspect? Now think about it. 80, 90 and 100. If I brew them exactly for the same amount of time, of course you will have the stronger taste in the 100 degrees and the weaker taste in the 80 degrees. But as a matter of fact, you would tune a little bit the time you brew the tea for, depending on the temperature. So I have that this tea probably, I would say, works well with a first brew at 90 degrees for 45 seconds. That's my feeling, but I think I have it here. I can check what we wrote on the website. Yeah, actually, that's what we wrote. Here we wrote five infusion. It was not this batch, it was a few years back. This one is 2022, that one was 2018, so four years ago batch. But nonetheless, we have five infusion, 45, 45, 60, 60, and 90 seconds. So we start with 45. And now, if I go for 100, I want to reduce a little bit the time. The taste 
will be a bit different. I expect it to be different because 100 degrees is able to dissolve into the water other components or more of certain components that 90 and 80 degrees are not able. So even if the steeping time is shorter, it should get a different taste. And the same story for 80 degrees, but the other way around, I will go a bit higher. Now, how much higher, how much lower is very tricky. What I would like to achieve here, let's see if I manage that, is having actually the same color of the brew. Very difficult, yeah? Same color of the brew. So if I would go for exactly the same steeping time, 100 degrees will be darker, less dark, less dark. But I will try to get a little bit the same color and then let's find out if there is actually a difference in taste. So 80 degrees, we said 45 seconds. I will go here for one minute. We do like that. One minute here. It's tricky. Maybe I'm not suggesting you to do this experiment exactly along with me because strange things can happen. So just maybe watch the video, see if there is anything to be corrected about the procedure that I'm inventing right now and then do it afterwards with maybe one of the tea you drink the most. One of the tea that you have been drinking for quite a while and brewing always in the same way. So we said we go for one minute here. Here we go, I have to take care also of putting exactly the same amount of water. Then I increase the temper to, to 90 degrees for the middle one. And that I will do for 45 seconds. I'm really interesting because, uh, interested because uh, I say this first time I do this kind of things. So, um, let's see if I have to change uh, all the labels of our pouches and the way I brew black tea usually. Maybe 80 works better, maybe 100. At least for this one, and this is a, a black tea that I really drink a lot. So we have another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And here we have our 80 degrees black tea. I don't think I ever brew a black tea at 80 degrees, so let's get everything out of it. And now we go with the next one and we do 45 with 90 degrees water. More or less the same amount of water, should be pretty much there. And I increase the water temperature to 100 degrees. And this we will do a bit less, uh, maybe 30 seconds. Uh, as I said, it's just uh, a feeling. Uh, let's see if we get the same color. So here we have another 10 seconds. Water is almost boiling. 40. Okay, our 45. You can start judging yourself if I am have been good at making the same color or not. And now we go with 100 degrees, just 30 seconds. Water quantity should be just there. Maybe it's a bit more, this one. Uh, no, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, 30 seconds, that doesn't take too long. Put them closer together. 28, 29, and 30. All right. Probably on that side, you see better the color than I do here. I put the guy one just behind, let's see. Hmm. So I will do a comparison like two at a time, otherwise it's really hard. Oh yeah, these are very similar in color, very similar. This from my perspective here. You of course have a different one because you look from the other side with different lightning. Uh, 
maybe the 100 degrees is a tiny bit lighter in color. What do you think? You can judge yourself. Maybe a tiny, but I mean, there's not a massive difference. Um, yeah, it's a tiny bit lighter, maybe. So you see, if you're doing the same type of tea with the black tea, maybe the 100 degrees, do it 35 seconds, just five seconds more. And now we come to the interesting part, actually. Mm -hmm. So we have 80 degrees. I will put already the 90 and the 100, so it cools a little bit down, because ideally, I would like actually to taste the three teas at more or less the same temperature, which is difficult, of course, because I'm doing the, everything in parallel here. So 80 degrees. Cheers. And I give you my content comments at the very end. Of course, I have already some impressions, but I want to do a comparison and not just start talking without knowing everything. I want to check how Dimitri described those. Oh yes, okay, it has a multi, multi taste. The maltiness is definitely there. A little bit of caramel. I can certainly tell you the difference is there, is clear. Might not be that easy to spot it if you don't do a tasting at the same time, but when do a parallel tasting, you won't miss, you won't miss that. Now we have the 100 degrees. Hmm. So I will tell you in a second about uh, the taste. I want to check how much water I have. I don't have a lot of water because I was tempted to do one more try. Because, you know, this is just uh, the first uh, brew. So yeah, let's do that. I'll take some more water. And uh, I will do one more steep while I tell you what I am tasting right now. And in fact, I will pour another little cup and see after it cools down if I get the same feeling. I'm sure you're curious to hear. So the 80 degrees. When I first uh, drank it, I had uh, my, my, my feeling was, mm, there is something missing, yeah? There is something missing. And I steep it for a minute, you know, you could go longer, but you see the color is very much the same between these two. And here there was something missing in some of the taste. The second one, the taste was just right, just there. The very right level of intensity. It was a tiny bit, um, um, astringent on the palate, it was drying a little bit the palate. Uh, more maltiness in it for sure and I, I certainly like it the second one you know it's also the classic way I usually do 90 degrees the 100 degree interestingly was um, more velvet in the taste was uh, rounder it that didn't have that astringency but it also didn't lack of taste so it was somewhat in between we mentioned before that it had a, a tiny lighter color so i should have probably gone for 35 that's what i will, will do maybe in the next round but so far uh certainly not the 80 and between the 90 and the 100 uh, i don't know let's taste the other way around we start with the 100 it's really good really balanced yeah Balance, not much bitterness, no stringency. 90. Also, fairly good. It's uh, even mm, it's smoother now than before, just to cool down a little bit. And uh, um, the, the texture is uh, thinner than before, so it, it flows much better in the mouth. 
I often suggest to wait a little bit that the water cools down before drinking the tea. You don't want to put 90, 100 degrees tea in your mouth. Um, your tasting bud won't react very well. And now the aiding. Mm -hmm. Way, way more, way too watery and there is some taste missing. So the eight is not that good. So I will do some adjustment now in the second round based on this first one. This is, by the way, something that you want to do all the time. You want to do this all the time when you um, taste tea and you do like Gong Fu Cha with multiple infusions because the tea evolves also in the pouch it evolves and uh, you have to and also your perception of taste evolves so you want to adjust uh, the next brewing according to what you have tasted before so according to my taste i will make the 80 degrees a bit longer let's start with that maybe one minute 10 this time let's start we do one minute 10. the 90 I like it. Uh, in fact, it is actually as we tasted it four years ago with the previous batch, 90 degrees, 45 seconds. That's the, what we will do again uh, today, 45 seconds. And this we will do a little bit longer. I'm not sure if 35 or 40. I'm not sure. I'll decide at the very end. Yeah. But for now, let's wait with this one. And this experiment can be very different depending on the tea you're doing. So. It's really a matter of, um, yeah, of uh, doing it yourself. It's a bit of waiting. Let's wait. What can we do? And if you like this type of experiments, please uh, let me know in the comments below. I come up with different experiments all the time, so I can certainly put more effort into thinking of them. We say 110, right? We do 110. And of course, if you enjoy, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Or subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet. So, oh, I forgot to go to 90. Let's go to 90. Usually when I do video, I always forget to tell you to give us a thumbs up, to subscribe the channel. I always remember at the very end. So this type of experiment gives me a little bit time in between the steps so that for this time, for once, I fought it before. <laughs> so we said we will keep on uh, 1 minute 10, so 70 seconds. We'll keep now with 45. Same as before, you know, it's a, it's a tea that really has a lot of strength and brings out a lot. So uh, just three grams, you can do already five steepings. Yeah, and actually we are very conservative. You could do even more than that. 88, come on, here we are. All right. I have to say for those that had this tea in the past, the 2018 batch, very similar taste. I would not be able to tell them apart. So fairly consistent, the farmer. So 45, we said here, and uh, I have to remember, water goes now 200 degrees centigrade, boiling. 212 Fahrenheit. I keep on forgetting mentioning both temperature and also it's quite tricky because I'm more familiar with uh, the Celsius and uh, I cannot do really the comparison just by heart. So 45, two, three, four, five. And again, look at the color once it's completely full. And let's see if I was able to match it better or if we have now this one that is a bit stronger. I don't know. Reset and we do here, hmm, let's do 35.
Yeah, now the 80 degrees is darker. So those 10 seconds made a change. Um, but since it was so weak before, I had to increase that to see if I can manage to get some taste out of it. Because uh, um, could be that 80 degrees doesn't bring enough energy to, to get out all the aroma and so it will stay weaker or maybe with the longer steeping it turns better. Let's find out. So um, I will pour first this so that cools down a little bit. This. And then the 80. And I will start again with the 18. Oh, I didn't compare the color of these two now. Oh yes, way more similar. Uh, yeah, very difficult to tell apart. Now they are just there. Yes, and this is darker. Yeah. Okay, cool. So 35 was the right spot. You can't really tell a difference in the cup, you're really more quantity. Let's start with the 80 again. So the 80 got better, okay, got better. But um, it, of course, it is, it is stronger than before. Still, the texture is not there where it should be, but it has developed some astringency as well. So it has the same astringency as the second one, but the taste is not quite there, if that makes sense. Ninety degrees was just fine. Now we start with the uh, hundred degrees. I wait a second that it cools down a little bit, and I have to make a point now. Now this tea, the seeds come from Yunnan. It is a large leaf variety, so it is a tea that on the paper is more suitable for high temperature than other black tea. So it could be that if you take other green tea, maybe smaller leaves, maybe you go for um, yeah. Oh, there are so many, yeah. Some, let's say some uh, uh, small uh, leaf variety, more black tea from the mm, central part, so central east, I mean, not so much in the south, more in the north of, uh, uh, of China. And uh, um, with little, smaller leaves, uh, like well, ginger made, and in that case, uh, it could be that 100 degrees really ruin the tea. But in this case, um, mm, I have to say 100 degrees was also fairly good, yeah. Um, I might be biased, I still like also the, the 100 degrees best, uh, the 90 degrees best, but um, I'm also pretty sure I wouldn't be able to tell the two apart if I'm not drinking one next to each other. Mm, too difficult to close. Well, the 80 degrees, yes, the 80 degrees is really different. So I do just one more in the other direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my conclusion here for my personal taste, I will continue with my 90 degrees and I know that at least with this tea, if I go a bit higher, it's not a big deal but I have to reduce a tiny bit the time. At the same time, if I go with 80 degrees, even if I steep it for longer, still there is something lacking. So that's my findings with this specific black tea. Go ahead, try with yours. Uh, if you are on uh, Discord, I will put the link in the description below. If you're not part of our Discord community, you can join. Share their, your opinion about the teas and your brave uh, fair favorite uh, water temperature for specific teas. There is a large community. We are about 300 tea lovers there that exchange 
opinion in writing every day and we do also regular uh, videos calls video calls or just calls just to drink tea together so if you sometimes feel uh, lonely and you want to drink tea with other people or you are just up for sharing your ideas and listen about others then join join our uh, discord is all free and the community is out there just for you so this in the description below you'll find the comment and you find the sorry the discord link and say that and that's all i have to tell you today about water temperature i hope you have enjoyed and i said before thumbs up if you've liked it and subscribe the channel if it's the first time that you're here bye guys see you next time